All right, let's just uh, let's just get into it, right? So this is part two of uh, lane matchups. Before, uh, part one, we did trade versus catch, and uh, if I recall correctly, we're trying to pressure them on every minion last hit as long as we're not getting caught, right? So now we're going to be doing the opposite. We're going to make sure we uh, try to avoid getting pressured on last hits and make sure that we're trying to catch them and set up the way for our support to catch them. All right, so let's take a look. This is gonna be the result of us playing out our matchup correctly, for the most part, right? Of course, uh, <laughs> you're gonna see some mistakes, but uh, for the most part, we have the right ideas coming into this matchup. At least I like to think so. So uh, if, you wa if you're watching and you think that maybe I'm doing something wrong on a fundamental level, or maybe you want to tell me something uh, that might be new or tell other people, feel free, right? We're all trying to uh, learn things and figure out what's the right move in lane, right? So um, here we're up 60 CS and uh, we have two kills and three assists, basically um, 10 CS a minute is pretty much ideal, right? Can't get any better than this. Oh, and we took their time. So yeah, even better. Um, so yeah, let's watch how this all happened, right? So uh, looking at this, picture based on our ideas of the last video our matchup is going to be something like uh thresh is catch unless you know early on we have some all-in ideas with flay and aftershock right and sona is going to be some kind of trade slash um airy poke right her q poke is was generally not considered to be very good right q by itself without an auto attack but with airy it can be it can add up so we would say that she can kind of poke, but she really wants to trade with her Q auto attack. That's kind of disgusting, right? Have you ever been hit by Sona's Q empowered auto attack? You, you, you're you going to get upset, right? And then for the 80 carries, we would like to trade and uh, catch, right? Jin W and Jin fourth shot. And Kaisa would like to all in if she can get an isolated Q or uh, land W. And, and land W, not or land W, right? So... Other than that, her trading is not very strong. So we would say her trading is not great. She has no catch. So it's just all in, right? And she doesn't have any poke. I mean, W, yeah, W is not really considered poke. So let's take a look. Um, so we're trade catch, trade catch plus catch. So very catch heavy. And they are some kind of all in slash trade. So if we trade, it's because we have four shot. And if not, we don't really, we're not really trying to do anything until Thresh catches someone or we catch someone and then Thresh follows up, right? So the ideas are similar. On minions, they're going to try and hit us, right? And uh, on their, when they want a minion, we're going to try and hook or go for a flay or some kind of W, right? So right there, we're taking some kind of uh, not good damage, we would say, but okay. Wow. How does she take so much damage? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, uh, just Q bounces, right? This is just Jin ideas. This is just free damage, honestly. You can consider that poke if you want. I think it's just like execute damage, you know, um, something they should be avoiding. But here we're breaking our rules of trade against the trade support because our trade is so good that it can beat Sona and Kaisa combined. So that's the idea, is that uh, the reason why we say don't trade against a trade lane and if you do, it's an exception, is because of this. Thresh can't help, right? So if you do this, it's all by yourself. So you have to win 1v2, right? Which is kind of what's going on here, right? And I think it's only, uh, it only turned out to be pretty good because she started with no HP, right? Here, we're just hitting her when she wants a minion. Um, her Sona was super far back, so it's pretty much uh, no way we could lose that, right? Fast forward. Yeah, let's get to important bits um, to make sure that we're covering up all these matchup ideas. All right, <laughs> so you saw there we took a really bad hit, right? So... Uh, you know, everyone's going to fall prey to this trade idea. We do not want to trade. The only time we want to trade is if we have our fourth shot. Do we have our fourth shot? No. So we got punished, right? Um, the only reason we got something here is because he cut, the Thresh caught Sona. She turned around, if you didn't notice, right? So, okay, we were going for a catch there. She had to flash. I think that's fine. Everything is fine. So we noticed that uh, Sona has no flash. So our game plan is, oh, wow, here we go. Another catch. Wow, that was hot. Wow, the only reason we didn't kill her is because we didn't have W since we uh, tried to hit Sona earlier. But wow, we are we are on fire, right? So any we're not notice how we're not starting anything unless uh, we have matchup related ideas, right? We go for a catch through Thresh, or we have a fat trade because we're playing Jin, right? We have a fourth shot ready and our Q is up, right? So let's fast forward. So now that they have no flash, um, in order to help our Thresh catch them better. 
we want them to come out into the middle of the wave, right? So that means freezing. We want to pull these minions so that they are going to push towards us. If no one touches these minions, it's pushing towards us. They have an extra minion. But let's say they didn't have an extra minion. You can do this by pulling the wave, tanking all these minions, and then hiding in the bush so that they de-aggro. And then they'll kill your minions faster. They'll, the minion line will meet here. But anyways, um, since they have no flash, basically they cannot do anything without getting caught now, right? It's kind of uh, uh, how to win with catch in a nutshell. Um, or how to win harder with catch in a nutshell. If you push this, how is he supposed to catch someone under tower? Right? It's not really it's not really happening. You guys are tanking. Um, but if you do this, right, and they have no flash, you know, it's pretty much guaranteed. Um, we're, we're, we're guaranteed to... Uh, Deny them CS and experience. So yeah, uh, one of the one of the more interesting takeaways from lane is uh, one of the ways to win really hard like this is to if you have find some massive advantage, make them come out into the wave, punish, and then push. Right. So here, this is our punish, and then we're gonna push. Right. And if they hadn't tried to do something, then they're just losing like a bunch of waves. They need their jungler to save them at that point. Right. So that's fast forward. We're back here. Back here, you can say something like, oh, why are we trading here, right, in this picture, right? Uh, it's because we're not really trying to trade, we're trying to catch her, right, um, with our W. Right? Remember, Gina's also a catch, so, okay, we couldn't find anything. Wow, I should not have thrown that. I should have I auto-attacked her. Mistake. That's okay. Sometimes mistakes happen, right? Um, again, same idea. They have no flash. We're going to try and uh, help our Thresh catch someone, which means by putting the wave in the middle or near our side of the map. Right, but not in our tower. Okay, and then now it's slow pushing, right? We're still maximizing the time. It's on our side of the map, right? So uh, if you have, uh, you know, based on the kind of support you have, uh, you can use, you know, wave management ideas to help them do what you guys want to do, right? So if you have a poke support and you can shove them under tower without dying to a gank, you do it because you can just poke them under tower really easily, for example. Right. This is just, we have a catch support and he can easily catch them if they come out into the lane, right? How many times have you seen Moby Blitz run you down? You know, <laughs> uh, this, this is how this, this is how that happens, right? Um, you guys end up coming out into the lane and get doomed, right? So how do you prevent this? You just have to sit back at your tower, right? Um, so here, we're not really finding anything. Sure. I think it's fine. Um, let's fast forward a bit. Oh, here we go. So if you're asking what happens when you're trying to do this and jungler comes, you'll be okay if you have flash. As long as you have flash, uh, most of the time you're okay from a jungle gank as long as you don't trade while you're pushing, right? So um, cookie cutter strat is uh, after you push, don't trade and then run from the jungler, right? You have flash, you should be okay, right? Um, we'll get into that next time. But um, for now, just know that, you know, as long as you have flash, you should be okay doing this kind of stuff, right? Um, but fast forward, we have the same exact same game plan. It's pushing towards us, right? The minions met on their side of the wave, river, not wave. Um, so it's, it's coming towards us and then, you know, this guy's getting caught. Seems good. Um, notice how we backed off because there's no more catch to be found. Right. Uh, but you know, after we land the hook, we're going back in. Right. So sure. This guy's dying. Once you see like a, uh, flash play, you can go for it as long as you're sure. Um, he might've had teal, so it could have been bad, but I don't quite remember. But anyways, you know, same thing. Once you punish, push base, right? Push so they lose minions base. You guys know this. You guys, are, you guys are, you guys are, you guys can all do that. The bigger idea is if you have some kind of massive advantage and you want to pressure them when they want a minion, you do this. Keep the wave on your side of the river or in the middle, right? So you can run them down. And if it's up here, you want to, you want to push the wave into the tower so it resets back into the middle, right? That's the big idea. Um, yeah. Now they should be really afraid to try and farm, right? So. Uh, remember at the end, we had a 60 CS lead, uh, right here. We had like a 20, uh, I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if you can see this. We have a 30 CS lead. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Every time she died, uh, she lost like a wave or two, right? So, uh, that's not good. And she's getting denied a lot. Um, so yeah, here we're just doing the exact same thing as we did before. Maximizing our supports potential to catch someone. So you might ask yourself, uh, you know, why wouldn't we want to push if we have total control of the lane, right? So in this example, we want to push if we want to do tower damage. We want to pretend we're basing, like hiding a bush. We're going to go ward for vision, right? Uh, we're going to go roam, anything along those lines. So in this case, you know, 
there's nothing to roam to mid's dead right uh i think we have good vision we could go for vision on camps but i think um you know making fishing for mistakes is better here right uh or at least i thought so in the moment right it's not clear to me that pushing would get us something better so and then once you can push into the tower we do right you know we can't stop this push anymore so we're just gonna shove it all in sure we can look for something spicy oh, i remember this we're just um we're fishing for sona's ulti so <laughs> she had a failed uh failed catch failed all in kind of idea going on there right and remember um in order for uh kaisa to be able to follow up on this she needs isolated q and or uh her w to hit so here it's impossible this is never gonna work right just just ideas matchup ideas with catch supports right uh we're getting to the post six cat the post six lightning phase so things are slightly different in terms of sona no longer can only trade she can also catch right um thresh has more all-in potential with ulti we have more uh catch potential with all you know these kind of ideas okay jungle stuff are happening uh maybe we should have helped this i think I, I i took a look at this again i was like oh maybe we should have helped right um i think it was a mistake maybe but it happens so back to leaning push this in right it's all the same right so this is ideas of uh you know what if we can't find a hook you are really happy getting all the cs right and don't trade right um just because your support can't land a skill shot doesn't mean that you automatically lose right you can get all this cs right and as long as you're not falling for their their lane matchup their win condition like you know you see we're full health right we have not tried to trade with sona unless we have four shot or something something spicy um you're gonna you're gonna be okay right this, this is ideal okay and then they're going for some kind of random ganks whatever fast forward let's get to more interesting parts where um we are back to these ideas right here um we're just trying to base but she's trying to she's trying to hold the wave all right so we follow up on this catch not much else to say you guys can all do this um it's really important to remember that on your when your support catches someone you need to know what you're going to do right so if you're playing brahm lucian brahm cues someone you need to you know have a preset in your mind we're going to dash in or something like that right you just got to come up with something so you know what's up but okay there's some kind of random fighting going on because we caught someone uh this is not an important part so we're going to skip this uh but i wanted to show you that after all this we get to our 60 cs lead point and uh they have to lane swap right but there's an important idea in this uh uh important idea here uh, in terms of catching people okay because after you after the laning phase is over the catching doesn't stop right when you want to fight ideally speaking you want to start with a catch because your matchup is catch right so if you like how many times have you seen this there's uh you know thresh goes for a hook a fight breaks out you guys lose because thresh missed hook already right it's the same idea except um magnified because it's not just laning this is going to be a team fight or a skirmish or something but anyways um how do you you know so ways we can set up our support in lane were um don't fall for their matchup right if we had taken so much damage from sona's trades we could not help thresh when he caught someone all right so that's number one number two is make sure that we are manipulating the wave to help our support do what he wants so I kept it on our side of the river so he could go for hooks right and then uh after that you know since i'm playing Jin, i can kind of uh set up some kind of w ideas so he can land an easy hook or maybe bait them into walking into me so that thresh can go for a flare or something like that but those are the basic ideas now after lane the ways we help our support are similar but uh is more it's more kind of uh brute force or maybe maybe subtle i actually don't know but it's, it's interesting because you should buy pink words right you can the easiest way is buy pink words to help your support do what they want you put a pink down he can stay in this bush go for hooks right you're gonna see an even more interesting idea which is put down a ward bait right so we're gonna pretend we don't know what's in this bush and he's gonna kill it he's gonna kill it because you know you see a ward you want to kill it right so this, this is another way we can set up our support right but remember that it's all about um working together with your support and what the matchup is and that way you will pretty much if you can play like this it'll be very clean like basic fundamentals will carry you very far right this is what what account is this this is like diamond two whatever right if you want to get to this kind of rank i mean 
you can do this and you can beat people here, right? Um, I mean, I said that last, I said that last episode, I mean, not episode, last, last video, but it's, it's true. Right? If it's working against these guys, it's going to work against everyone lower than them. So this is how you do it. Okay. It's not just, you know, you wait for him to land something. It, it is kind of that, but also you want to help him set it up. Okay. So that's how you do it. Make sure um, that if you have a catch support, you want to make sure you're not making any mistakes in terms of falling for the enemy win condition so that when your support lands their stuff, you can go. And if they, if they can't land stuff, then you're just trying to last hit, right? That would be, that's kind of the, the basic idea. So tell me guys what you think. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'm always, uh, I'm always, you know, reading every YouTube comment. But uh, other than that, that's, uh, that's it for today's, uh, today's video. Um, we'll come out with some more landing stuff next time, probably. Maybe even a part three. So see you guys next time.